Hi, Dave from Align Therapy here. We're going to talk about kyphosis. Uh, kyphosis is something that we treat here at Align Therapy and we do a specific treatment method. But I wanted to talk about kyphosis and what it is. Um, kyphosis is the curve in the upper back. This is, this is DJ. He's a student physical therapist hanging out with us for a while. Thank you, DJ, for being our, our uh, subject. But kyphosis is the upper back curve that curves this way. So on DJ, it's right here. Lordosis is the low back curve that goes this way in the low back. So we have a kyphosis and a lordosis. Naturally, if someone is sitting and slouching, so go ahead and slouch, DJ, we see the kyphosis increase. Let's say DJ's on his phone or his computer and gravity's taking its toll on him. We see that kyphosis increase. That's normal and natural. If if DJ had a larger kyphosis and it was really stiff and he couldn't pull out of it, uh, sometimes that's due to a structural problem called Schurman's kyphosis. And that's degenerative changes in the spine that create a really stiff kyphosis that, that you can't totally pull out of just by sitting up straighter. So we have postural kyphosis which is when you know the teenagers that I see or or people who are on on computers all day long that are in a kyphosis position a lot you kind of get stiff in that position and pulling out of that is difficult and uncomfortable sometimes so pull out of that DJ bring your shoulders back uh, but they're able to get out of that if they can't get out of that then it's a structural problem called Schurman's kyphosis and we use a method called the Schroff method to treat Schurman's kyphosis and it's very effective. Uh, but if you hear the word kyphosis or you know someone who has kind of a forward posture, uh, it could be structural like Schurman's kyphosis or it could be functional uh, uh, with just weakness or stiffness contributing to it. So it's important to determine which one it is and we can help you out with that if you have any questions on what type of kyphosis you have. But wanted to shed a little bit of light on kyphosis and what it is. Thanks.